We're back for more blah, 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 blah. This time. I don't wear any clothes. <sighs> Hello? Dude, just leave. Just stop. Oh, that's worth money. <sighs> and here I am. You know. 217,000 gold. In my Skyrim playthrough, I had like 719,000 or something ridiculous. Like that. <laughs> by the end of it. In Skyrim, you can really rack up money. Just absurdly amount. And I don't really know why. And I think, actually, you know, the longer I think about it, the longer, the longer, the, 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 the. I think it's because, um. It makes use of, dude, why is there a bedroll in here? Anybody want to take a nap? I think it's because the game, like, inherently, like, everything is more realistically weighted. Like, physically, is the weight is more realistic, so I think you can just hold more, and as a result, you know, you just, you accumulate more money. And, I mean, there's problems with that, mainly because it, it so the weight is correct, right? But it doesn't incorporate anything, like, size-related, right? Like, I shouldn't be able to have, like, ten tons of stuff. Or, sorry. I shouldn't necessarily be able to carry around a hundred pounds or something. Like, sure. In a backpack. Hey, Baltimore shield. Oh. Hey, which of you uh, wants to hold those? He's all unique. Oh, shit. Reflect damage 10%. That's no joke. Uh, I can give that to you. What can I... I would actually... Oh, she, but she probably wouldn't use it, even though it's, like, technically better. She probably wouldn't use it. Um, just take that, too. Yes? I know you. You freed me. Free my brothers, if they are still enslaved. Together we will cleanse the shrine of the Underkings, foul magic. Thank you. I do like how they all carry unique items, though. I don't even remember that being a thing. Ooh, <laughs> shit! That's a good one. Okay. Let's not use this for a bit, or this. Let's instead use Sword of the Crusader. For time. And... 1200 points. Sure. Even though we have like a shit ton of um, smaller ones. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh wow, these are u useless. Yeah, just get rid of them. That's depressing. You too. You just depress me. <laughs> Divine group. Listen, Ghost Boy, if you're able to phase through this, I'm going to be infuriated. You know, that is a nice touch. I'm not going to lie. That actually is a very nice touch. <laughs> That's something probably like so few people have ever noticed. And the ghost just phases through stuff. It is a nice touch. I'll admit it. Props to, uh, props to Todd. Even though Todd is definitely not the one who coded that. You know, because he was project lead. And it's a project lead. You, you really don't get a chance to code. <laughs> You're basically just like, this is the direction that we're going to take. Better like it. <laughs> Better fucking like it, you know? Say you like it or you're probably not going to keep your job. You think you took out too much of the role-playing aspects? You're wrong. We must remove more. Less is more, don't you know? Do you exist in the 21st century? Everybody wants to 
spend more money on less. But at least it'll have its pretty graphics. Yeah, thanks, Todd. It's clearly why I buy Elder Scrolls games. Are you serious? Do I actually have to go through this one? Oh, that's fucking stupid. Why not just have them all be in one spot? That's just... Uh, whatever. Oh, well, I mean, he is right here. Northwind. Go see boy. All the cursed blades have been restored. Should go to the shrine. Hi. Stand aside in the name of Tiber Septim and the blades. Hinder me at your peril. Go, go fuck yourself, dude. I literally freed you from your torment. Should fucking let you be there. I don't know. What's the point in running around doing things all the time? Why not just enjoy life? Imagine unironically enjoying life. <laughs> Imagine thinking Vilya is like right. This must be a pathway to the main area, but it never directed me towards it. Ah, oh, I can't loot those. really epic music to put there. It's kind of interesting they all have that. Where's this leading me to? <laughs> what the hell is this? It's another spooky boy. Didn't mean to summon that. I mean, clearly somebody important is buried there, but that's too much money. And I like money. Is there another one behind here? Nope. Why is this one like... So this does lead to the entry hall, but it doesn't... Oh. Really? Oh, interesting. Lads. Just me and the boys. Summoning the Daedra. <laughs> Lads. Thank you, boys. We have fulfilled our last duty. We go now to Ethereus without shame. Farewell. We have fulfilled our... We have fulfilled... We... Enjoy yourself, Am lads. Too much? Just tell me <laughs> this epic moment where you get the armor of Tiber Saturn and she's just like, Am I talking too much? Yeah, I think you are, in this case. Here lies Raymond III, last emperor of the Cyrodiils, a scourge of the Dark Elves, who was cruelly slain by treachery in the year 2920. He reigned 43 years. I mean, give it up for Raymond. See, if <clears throat> it's one of the things Skyrim did do better. You know, you would actually know what these depicted, but here it's just like, eh, I don't know. Probably was too much to, uh, to run on the console, so they were like, ah... Might as well not texture them, make it something very basic. People be like, oh, what is that supposed to mean? In truth, nothing. Illegible. Here lies Raymond Cyrodiil. He defeated the Akaviri Horde and brought peace to Tamriel in 2762. Here lies Raymond II, crowned Emperor of Tamriel in 2812. He fell in battle against the Dark Elves in the 57th year of his age after a reign of 39 years and 8 months wanting a day. Hmm. 
Interesting. Now we have to walk all the way back. Um, yeah, it doesn't actually have any effects on it. I think the one that Martin does wear does have some effects. But not this one. And in case you're curious, it is the same armor that Gareth wore. Uh, boop. Hope I can find my way out of here. Things like this, though, that I don't know. Like, this guy probably was spawned. Yeah, I think these these guys have spawned in, but I suppose that was supposed to. Because I don't think we came this way. Yeah, or yeah. I mean, I think we did come this way. Um, but I think it's supposed to, you know, add like that. There's an interesting aspect to leaving the dungeon, but it's just better to just do a wrap around like Skyrim did. Those things, you know, it's obviously dungeon size is dependent, right? But I mean, for one of this size, just make a wrap around, <laughs> just be done with it. it. Does not, there's not much to. Uh, there's no reason not to, right? It's just like, oh, it's awfully convenient. Like, n no, it's it's just to not waste the player's time. Oh God, don't tell me. I'll be straight with you. If it ain't, if it's more than this this guy, we're I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> Oh, it's sounding like it's more than just him. Oh my god, I think the Draugr all respawned. <laughs> Fuck this. <laughs> yep, they all did. <laughs> Every single Draugr respawned. Awesome design. Thank you, Sky. Thank you, Oblivion. Very cool. I almost said thank you, Skyrim. I did start, I think, episode 13 up with Welcome Back to More Skyrim. It's how just absolutely kerfluffled I was at the time. Here. Go help them, because I sure as hell am not. <laughs> do, 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 One of them killed them. Actually, I think that was my summon. Because this said you killed, and I think its companion killed if one of them did it. Oh, go up, please. I see an oblivion gate that I want to see in case there's a Daedra Lord there. I'll be honest, I really don't want to fight those guys. Oh, what's this? <gasps> Speak of the devil and he shall appear. Kill him. Kill him. God, he just dropped the fucking boots. God damn it. You degenerate. You scumbag. It is mascars that adds them though, right? Yeah. You no, know, we can leave now, but let me actually discover this first in case we need to be over here. <laughs> I'm kind of pissed, I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god. Again, climbing mechanics, please. Walking up like this is awful. <laughs> 
Like you just spam the jump button and go sideways and then up and then sideways and then up. Hmm, something bad's going up there. And I'm magically about to say fuck it in TCL. <laughs> I have about three seconds. One. Oh. And it sounds like something's fighting up here. Yeah, something something bad's going on. Oh my god. This mechanic is so bad. Well, I don't even think it's supposed to be intended to be a mechanic, but you get the idea. Lads! Oh no. <laughs> Do you want to be friends? Where are you? I don't think you were a mess. I think you were LARPing. I was a dead man here. Oh, it's a Skyrim Crusader. What a beast. Buddy, I'll, I'll have you know, this isn't Skyrim. I'm sorry. You're, you're quite a bit away. I know get lost up there, and these these two lads tried to assault, <laughs> tried to assault a, uh, an oblivion gate that wasn't even in Skyrim. Kind of a noble noble way to go. Oh, what is this? I know there's one of these closer to Cloud Ruler, but not one of these. Or is this just the path? Yeah, I never thought I'd call a Nord a friend to begin with, but, uh, you know, here we are. Is this just supposed to be intended to help you on the path to Hermaeus Moro Shrine? That'd be my guess. Yeah, this whole pathway looks like it was semi-constructed, yeah, intentional to get up to Hermaeus Moro Shrine. Is that a fucking Daedroth? I'm going to kill his family. Something to discover here, though. I will most certainly do that. Wormwood. Do you think I care? Yeah, this is the constructed pathway to Hermaeus Mora Shrine. I don't know why I'm doing this, by the way. Hold on, I can salvage this. <laughs> that got a little too close to comfort. <laughs> yeah, this is all her memora. Oh, but this. Yeah, this is all reclaimed Sankrator. Lost Mountain Pass. Goth Gorga. Okay. We will be here sooner or later. <laughs> Most likely later. <laughs> it is kind of cool when you're playing these games and you're, uh, you're just playing through it. You know, uh, and you actually find places that are used in mods later on. You know, and it's just like, oh, the, these places actually exist in the game. Good evening, sir. What can I do for you, sir? Get what? The Emperor's death was a harsh lesson for all of us. We failed in our duty to the Dragonborn. It must not happen again. Correct. Garukt. That's German. What the fuck? Keep <laughs> your heart true and your eyes open. I had an umlaut. <laughs> what the fuck? Was there a fucking umlaut? Oh my god, the frames. <laughs> See if they all have that. Whatever you need. Good day. Stay safe. Yes? 
tell us go sorry but I'm too oh it is laggy as fuck in here hi Martin you're lagging my oh god I don't want to ruin that though Martin you're lagging my game through and hen did <laughs> These are all important books. Why do you have three copies of the same book? My progress on the Mysterium Xarxes is slow, I'm afraid. How goes your search for the armor of Tiber Septim? I have it. Oh, tell me about Daedric Magic. I put aside the Dark Arts when I became a priest. The workings of fate may be seen in this too. The gods can turn anything to good. Or so I piously told those who came to see me for advice. Perhaps I may yet come to believe it myself. Hey, I have the armor. Be right. I put aside... Oh yeah, I remember that happening earlier. I have the armor. The septim blood may flow through my veins, but you have the soul of a hero. The armor of Tiber Septim himself. Joffrey will be amazed to see it. You can reassure Joffrey that I will not destroy the armor. All I need is a scraping of Talos' divine blood. The blades are as touchy as priests about relics of Tiber Septim, it seems. What else can I do? While you were gone, I've made some progress in deciphering the Mysterium Xarxes ritual. The third item we need is a great Welkin stone. You may have run across lesser Welkin stones. They're fairly common in alien ruins, but a great Welkin stone will not be easy to come by. They have been plundered one by one over the years due to their great value to mages and occultists. There is only one place that is rumored to still contain one. The ruins of the alien city of Miskarkand. A place where many have perished seeking its great stone, but nothing else will do. So you must succeed where all others have failed. Great. Tell me about this place. The capital of one of the ancient alien kingdoms which flourished in Cyrodiil before the rise of men. It is said that the ruins are still haunted <coughs> by the vengeful spirit of its last king. True or not, it is not a place to enter lightly. Be careful. I the pinnacle of alien magic. Once, every alien city had its great stone. But they've all been plundered over the centuries. All but one. The great stone of Miskarkand is reputed still to shine in the deep darkness of its ruined halls. But no one has ever done more than glimpse it from a distance. It is said to be guarded by the ghost of the last king of Miskarkand. Miskarkand is one of the most extensive alien ruins in Cyrodiil. It was the capital of one of the ancient alien kingdoms. You might find glories and laments among the alien ruins useful. I have the library's copy at my table if you need it. Be careful, my friend. I know you've braved many dangers already, but Miss Garkin is not to be taken like Hail. Get me out of this cell. <laughs> I'm getting like 15 FPS in there. This is much better. Mm. I think I need more sleep. Who the fuck is Fortis? Please forgive me. <laughs> You imagine waking someone up in the middle of the night? Hey, how you doing? What can I do for you, sir? Gal Garukta. The noose around Bruma is tightening. Now that the mythic dawn has learned Martin's location, we have to be prepared for the worst. Farewell. I thought this was Joffrey's room. I haven't even seen him. The blade stuff is worth zero? But the swords are worth money? I'm just confused. I know this is Marcus's. Ma Martin's. Martin. Marcus. Okay. And I believe... Oh, have we already looted all this dry? <laughs> I think we have. Oh, yeah, no. It's this jewelry box. There's some... Some strong stuff here. Hail. You know what would be a nice... Uh, aspect going forward for the Elder Scrolls games that NPCs change clothes. Not like these lads. I mean, obviously they're wearing their armor every day, but I'm talking about like the average citizen. 
You know, because they all wear the same fucking pair of clothes every day. Joffrey's got to be. Hey, what is it? Armor. You have earned a place of honor in the rolls of our order for recovering the holy relic. Thanks. Tell me about the aid. Your efforts are starting to pay off. Just knowing we do not stand alone has raised the morale of the Bruma Guard. But I still fear that Bruma will fall before you can complete the ritual. You need to buy Martin more time. Bruma needs more help. Okay. Farewell. I mean, I've literally just gotten the two cities that are closest. Um, hmm. Oh, yeah, Miss Garkand. Yep, I remember that one. Um, hmm. So what should we do? I am thinking that next episode we begin the Fighter's Guild quest line. So I think if we start that, I want to go to Anvil, um, get rid of its Oblivion Gate, and then go and start doing the quest there, and then Shade and Hall and back and forth. Uh, it's, a, it's a whole group of uh, interesting quests, so um, we'll certainly certainly do that. So uh, next time, thank you all for watching.